Good evening, innovators and accidental inventors. Welcome to Innovation Nation News for December 8th, the only place where breakthroughs are celebrated and failed prototypes are quietly recycled into holiday decorations. In new tech, Google's Project Aura is basically sunglasses that went to tech school and came back with a cord, a battery pack, and a resume full of Android apps. They're not quite glasses, not quite a headset. Think Clark Kent cosplay with a USB cable. Instead of reinventing the wheel, Aura just borrows apps from Samsung's Galaxy XR, meaning you can hail an Uber, play funky jazz on YouTube music, or take a photo straight from your face. Privacy concerns? Don't worry, there's a giant pulsing light to scream, I'm recording you, subtle as a disco ball. The big twist, these XR glasses will even play nice with iPhones. Yes, Google is inviting Apple users to the party, though probably not letting them control the playlist. In short, Project Aura is Google's second shot at smart glasses, sleeker than Google Glass, less bulky than Vision Pro, and hopefully less likely to make you look like a glass hole. Scientists at Alto University basically turned AI into a rave. Instead of GPUs grinding away like tired office workers, they figured out how to make a single beam of light do all the math at once. Tensor operations, convolutions, attention layers, the whole deep learning playlist. Think of it like this. Traditional computers solve problems step by step, like someone painfully working through a Rubik's cube. Light, on the other hand, just yeets through the cube at warp speed and says, done. They encode data into the wiggles of light waves, and as those waves bump into each other, math magically happens. It's like Hogwarts for photons, except the spell is tensorus multiplicus. The best part? It's passive. No electronics, no sweaty GPUs, just light doing its thing. Researchers say we could see this in photonic chips within three to five years, meaning your future AI assistant might literally run on sunshine. Bottom line, forget supercomputers. The next big AI breakthrough might be powered by the same stuff you use to tan, take selfies, and complain about daylight savings. Scientists basically dug up a 1950s material, dusted it off and said, surprise, germanium isn't just retro, it's faster than your Wi-Fi. By squeezing a thin layer of germanium onto silicon like a stressed out pancake, they created record-breaking whole mobility. Translation, electric charges now sprint through it like they're late for a Taylor Swift concert. Compared to regular silicon, which plods along like a tired office worker, this new material moves charges 15,000 times faster. The result? Chips that run cooler, faster, and use less energy, finally giving your laptop a chance to stop sounding like a jet engine. Potential users include quantum computers, AI accelerators, and servers that don't need Arctic-level cooling. Basically, it's the semiconductor equivalent of finding out your grandpa's vinyl collection is worth millions. Bottom line, germanium is back from the 1950s, and it's ready to party. This time not in transistor radios, but in quantum processors. In health scientists discovered that Monjaro can temporarily shut down the brain's food noise, basically the internal radio station that plays 24-7 commercials for cupcakes and french fries. For one patient, it was like someone finally hit the mute button on her cravings, she went from obsessing over roast beef sandwiches to enjoying actual silence in her head. But here's the catch. After about five months, the food noise came roaring back like a bad sequel nobody asked for. Turns out terzipatide is more of a craving snooze button than a permanent fix. The study shows promise for treating binge eating disorder, but researchers warn it's way too early to call these drugs miracle cures. Translation don't throw away your willpower just yet. Bottom line, Manjaro can quiet your brain's snack-obsessed DJ, but eventually the beat drops again and the fries are back on the playlist. Scientists at King's College London have basically said, bad hair day, yeah. no problem, turn it into toothpaste. They discovered that keratin, the protein in hair, can rebuild tooth enamel. So yes, your next cavity-fighting weapon might literally come from your haircut. Instead of fluoride, this magical hair paste forms a crystal-like shield over your teeth, blocking sensitivity and stopping decay. Think of it as giving your molars a spa treatment with a protein mask. The eco-friendly twist? It's made from recycled biological waste, like hair and wool. Translation. Dentists may soon ask, 
Would you like to donate your split ends to science? Bottom line, we're entering an era where your hair doesn't just protect your head, it might protect your smile too. Shampoo, rinse, floss, repeat. Scientists basically confirmed what TikTok already knew. Rosemary isn't just for roasted potatoes. It might also help your skin heal without scars. Turns out the plant's secret weapon, carnosic acid, flips on a nerve sensor that tells your skin, hey, regenerate like your wolverine. In lab tests on mice, rosemary cream sped up wound closure and even regrew hair follicles and oil glands. Other herbs tried to join the party. Thyme, oregano. But rosemary was the Beyonce. Potent, safe, and less irritating than mustard oil or other wannabes. The catch. It only works where you actually put it. Smearing rosemary cream on your elbow won't magically heal a cut on your knee. Local benefits only. Sorry, no telepathic skincare. Bottom line, social media may have hyped rosemary serums, but science says they're onto something. So next time you're cooking pasta, maybe save a sprig for your skincare routine. Who knew your spice rack was auditioning for dermatology school? Doctors in China basically pulled off the world's weirdest organ swap. They kept a man alive for months using a pig liver with 10 gene edits. Think of it as installing a pork-powered backup system in your body. At first, the pig liver worked great, making bile, clotting factors, and generally acting like it belonged there. But then complications showed up, proving that even genetically engineered pigs can't solve everything. The patient lived 171 days, which is impressive considering his liver was basically on loan from Babe. Experts are calling it a landmark in hepatology, while the rest of us are just imagining future hospital menus. Would you like your transplant with barbecue sauce or sweet and sour? Bottom line, xenotransplantation is edging closer to reality. Pigs may not fly, but their livers might just keep humans alive. And that wraps up Innovation Nation news for today, where the future arrives daily, usually late, and sometimes still in beta. Remember, every great invention starts with someone saying, wait, what if? And ends with someone else saying, why does it need Wi-Fi? Until next time, keep dreaming big, keep tinkering small, and if your toaster suddenly asks for a software update, maybe just unplug it. Good night, innovators.